Hello guys, it's October here, your Thursday's host for Witchcrafting. Um, this is a very basic um, thing this week, um, just kind of getting back into the swing of things this week with doing a, a Shia more than a craft really, and how you can uh, make things work for you on your budget and uh, how you have access to things. So this is a little um, altar that I've been working on. Everybody that is familiar with my own channel, um, and probably in some cases this channel as well, uh, knows I have uh, my seasonal working Morrigan altar, which is a corner dresser, and I also have my sort of offering a sacred Morrigan fireplace. This past while something has been drawing me to do a little small altar or sacred space to home in on the watery aspect of the goddess. Um, now a lot of people um, link the Morrigan with streams and lakes and still water or non-oceanic uh, waters I would possibly say. But I'm drawn to uh, the sea, especially linked in with this sacred space. So I'll show you the song, but there's a few in the back then. So I've kept it very, very, very simple. It is a little corner unit that my original Morrigan altar was placed on at the very beginning of my Celtic path. So some people may recognise the shape. Um, so basically we have this beautiful image of uh, a painting or a drawing that I found mm -hmm. online that somebody uh, drew or painted over the Morrigan. And I just think it is so beautiful. To me, from any imagery of the Morrigan that I've seen in reflective surfaces predominantly, this image to me most resonates with um, how... I've seen her. Um, so uh, this particular picture just jumped out at me. I had to use it. So basically I have taken this picture and I have um, printed it off and I had a black poundland frame and like I've shown in other videos, I basically went over the edges with um, like a black um, Permanent marker, so it kind of goes a gun metal. So you can see the image. Um, this here, this cord here, I've been making a lot of cords recently, linked in with different things, but this particular cord here um, was linked in with a video I did on uh, the magpie in crafting, and it was a little cord I made. Time with that, so I'll zoom in a little bit and show you. So it basically has a triquetra and a little feather. And the colours I've chosen are in the UK, um, the colours of the magpie that we see around here are black, a tea wee turquoise colour, and white. So that's just hanging over my um, picture here. Um, so um, here, this is a little pendant I was given for you this year by a friend, and it's, I'm not really quite sure what the image is, but I like the colours and it kind of looks like underwater, so I put a little wool cord on it, tie, and decided to pop it on here in connection with this little sacred space. Um, so down here, I have... A little offering um, plate. Um, a shop um, in my hometown at the moment are doing little for Ostara or Easter. They are doing little um, mix and match batches of things that you buy little gift packs. You don't know what's in. They're all wrapped up in tissue paper, and you pick one, and then you don't know what you've got to bring it home. So we got one, and. One of the things that was in the gift wrapping was the softly plate. 
which I thought was perfect to use on this secret space. So, hang on a sec. So, as you can see, and I pussy can't need some fit. But what is it with me every time I do a video? I can't need some fit. <laughs> Give me a second. Right, where were we? Um, yeah, so I've got this plate. But uh, what's on here, as you can see, is this pebble here I picked up years ago at Ferry Den Beach. Um, so that's the beach that was nearest to me when growing up. So I just absolutely loved it. So I popped that on there. And then that's a big shell that was gifted to me by um, a friend of mine, a good friend of mine. Um, so I decided to put that there. And another shell as well I had already. So I've got them. Now this is a little um, Ogum charm I made for the new um, Celtic tree that has come into the forefront at the moment, which is oops, Alder. So I was drawn to pick these colours, so which is black and white. And we have here a tree, a talon, and to me that is like a moth. Um, I won't go into what they all represent at the moment, that is for another video, but I picked these charms specifically to represent these particular things that resonate with me for this particular tree. So, uh, I have this on this little plate as well. And finally, I've got these two big dinner type candles in little purple dishes. Um, so I have them in there. I eventually want to get little proper holders, but that's all I had at the moment. So I have basically those two and they pass one now, hang on. So I thought the, this colour was perfect. Um, they're like a deep turquoise teal colour and the I have noticed are very similar to a lot of the blues that is in this picture of uh, the Morrigan I have here, the one I just showed you, that one. Try not to get the camera in because it's reflecting. Uh, so really this is not so much a crafting video, but it is a share and it is basically just to say, you know, you can have a really um, meaningful altar with, you know, not um, breaking the bank type of thing. Um, and the altar cloth is one that I have, I used in my, um, this I had in my video for the magpies and crafting video. And I just felt the shapes were quite water-like in the colours and also in a little bit of a respect for this um, uh, new Celtic tree that is in the forefront at the moment. So, um, I'll leave that there. I hope you guys enjoyed. Lots of love and blessed be. Bye.